It's time once again for the Oscars, who after pissing everyone off by suggesting a new popular film category, pissing everyone off by hiring and or firing Kevin Hart, and pissing everyone off by cutting then uncutting important awards from the show. We'll now be pissing everyone off by awarding Best Picture to one of the following eight nominees. From director Br- er, from a director, comes the combination of wigs, teeth, and Mike Myers' in-jokes you didn't know Freddie Mercury deserved. Well, that's the kind of song teenagers can crank up the volume in their car and bang their heads to. In this Lifetime movie, that's one great Rami Malek performance from being the non-parody version of Walk Hard, The Dewey Cox Story. I don't need anyone. I don't need anybody. Higher. Oh. All right, again, faster. Your parents. I just wanted to know whether they were proud of you. What do your parents think about your protest songs? Being human is a condition that requires a little anesthesia. Cocaine. Freddie Mercury's got to think about his whole life before he gets on stage. Freddie, Queen of Rocks. In a world where the Dark Knight, Logan, The Avengers, Deadpool, and Wonder Woman were overlooked for Best Picture, and fans have spent years griping that no comic book movies ever get nominated for the highest award, one film will finally get the nod, leading rabid fans everywhere to say, I guess it was good, but was it that good? Uh, there is no pleasing you, is there? Black Panthers. Third act looked like a PlayStation cutscene and didn't really pick up enough nominations to win, and I personally liked Infinity War better, and furthermore... From Yargos Lathi, from Yargos Lenth, from the director of The Lobster, comes the other Queen biopic nominated for Best Picture this year that's also about a difficult charismatic figurehead and the people who jockey for power around them and features scenes of its eccentric demanding main character surrounded by cute furry animals. I'm not gonna lie, if this movie ended with Queen Anne performing at Live Aid, it'd have my vote. Bohemian Rhapsody. From the mind who brought you Jeff Daniels' chronic diarrhea. And Cameron Diaz with jizz in her hair. Comes a film based on the personal stories of this guy. They were completely refuted by the living relatives of this guy. Dignity always prevails. As the civil rights era South is handled with as much subtlety as you'd expect from the guy who made Shallow How. Oh, there she is. There's Rosemary. Where? Right there. Is she behind the rhino? Featuring show-stopping turns from Mahershala Ali as Don Shirley and Vigo Mortensen as one of the cartoon Italian chefs you see on a pizza box. Fanaba, why are you breaking my balls? With a powerful message that racism, and stay with me on this, is bad. Whoa. Oh, I'm driving here. You've seen 25th Hour. You didn't? Okay. You've seen Malcolm X. No? Really? Yes, Denzel was great in that. You should check it out. You've seen Do the Right Thing. Oh, come on! Stop rewatching Infinity War for like a minute. Okay, let's start over. You've heard of Spike Lee. Yes, the guy at the next games. Now strap in for a terrifying portrait of white supremacy in the 70s. That's just as relevant today, which earned Spike Lee his first Best Director nomination and really puts a damper on reruns of that 70s show. God bless white America. Someone should really make this David Duke guy watch Green Book. Joanna Clan. From Adam McKay, who's a lock for an Oscar nomination. John Miles play a movie dick for real! Lately, comes the latest startling physical transformation from Christian Bale, who's been skinny, fat, and bat. In a Dick Cheney biopic that's one part drama, one part comedy, and 18 parts makeup, with a powerful message that unchecked authority, abuse of power, and shady tactics, and stay with me on this, are bad. Dick. From first time director Bradley Cooper comes a film that comes along once in a generation. Literally, like once in every generation since 1937. Featuring New York born, immensely talented, world famous pop star Lady Gaga in the role of a lifetime as California-born, immensely talented, world-famous pop star Ali, and featuring that one Lady Gaga duet you can't get out of your head, no matter how hard you try. No, no, no! The other one! We all agree to get that one out of our head! Bad Romance. From Netflix, the company who wants to earn its big boy pans, comes a film that got Academy voters to wonder what it would be like if their housekeepers were actual people. In this intimate, sweeping, emotional portrait of 1970s Mexico, 
pulled straight from its director's brain and stunningly realized through dazzling acting and cinematography that you skipped because it's so much easier just to rewatch The Office again. Bears beats Battlestar Galactica. Tidying up with Yalitza Aparicio. Starring the following Oscar snubs. It can be hard to be snubbed sometimes. Mr. Rogers, your documentary was the biggest snub this year. Oh, well, that's mighty nice of you to say, neighbor. But I'm just worried about these other fine films getting their due. But I would have been pleased as punch if they kept the awards for best makeup and hairstyling on TV. Or best editing. Or best cinematography. Oh, that one's important. Cinematography? Can you say that? Cinematography. Very good. The Academy changed their mind, Mr. Rogers. Those awards are back in the show. Oh, did they change their mind about my film too? No. Well, isn't that a kick in the patoot? But they could still give an award for best stunts. Tom Cruise put his life at risk for your entertainment. Isn't that special? Lots of women made lovely films this year. Deborah Granick and Lynn Ramsey come to mind. I love movies about how important it is to protect children. Well, maybe not with a hammer, but, you know. Oh, and of course, Tony Collette. I don't want to be a potty mouth, but that's messed up. Oh, excuse my language. No problem, Mr. Rogers. It's a beautiful day on the internet when you're around. The Oscars 2019. Man, this is shaping up to be the worst Oscars since the La La Land debacle. Or since Crash won. Or since Franco and Hathaway hosted. Or since the Oscars were televised.